Hello everybody, welcome to my video today. So you purchased a Amiibo card off Etsy or eBay, and uh, you're wondering how to do it, or maybe you're thinking of purchasing one, and you're wondering how it works. So let's take a look at how we do that today. Check out the comments below. I posted a best-selling Etsy store, perfect rating, probably the top-selling Amiibo cards on the internet today. So check out the link in the description where you can get these for free shipping, free international shipping, and only $11 compared to buying it on eBay, which, uh, you know, the real ones can go for like 60 to 80 over $100. So let's see how it's done. So, a um, few things, too, to take a note. Um, you just need to make sure your resident services is upgraded to a building, you know, where Tom Nook resides. Um, you need to have a campsite built. And if you already have 10 villagers, that's totally okay, because you can kick an, um, a villager off of your choosing with a Mabel card. So, it's better than using all those nook mile tickets to try to find the villager you want this is the best way now the ones that do not work are the new horizon exclusive characters right because they do not have amiibo cards yet all right so first thing you do is you go to this kiosk in your resident services all right and uh, you're going to go down to invite a camper. Now, if you don't have that option yet, you just got to play a little bit more of the game. And it will become available to you. So, invite a amiibo to your campsite. Yep. This works the same exact way as regular amiibo card, guys. So the touch point is this controller here over this side. So you just take your card and you just scan it like this. Sprocket. All right. I know he's not the cutest villager, some would say, but I like him a lot. I think he's cool. What kind of robot character do you, do you see often other than Ribot? There he is. He's got biceps. Alright, so... You're basically inviting him to come visit you. Alright, he's... There's still some more steps to do. We're not ready yet. So... You just go out front after scanning the card. And you gotta go to that campsite I was telling you about. Alright, and here he is. He's gonna be in this tent. And these also scan if you have a pro controller. Um, it would be like near the top where the Nintendo icon is. And there he is. So talk to him. Talk to him a few times. I think he's cool. But you can invite any villager you want. Lucky, uh, Coco, whatever it may be. So, some firewood. So he wants me to bring him an item, right? And this is going to have to be a few day process. In game day process. Also real life day process if you want to wait. Or you could use the time traveling technique. Totally up to you um, to just skip a forward a day. But you're going to have to do this two or three times before he moves in permanently. And he's going to ask you to make something, and if you don't have the recipe, they will give it to you. So it makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Okay, learn that recipe. Got me a... All 
All right, so we made the item that he wants, whoops, which was firewood. And then you go back in and talk to him. I'll give you a gift for it. Alright, so that's all you can do for this game day. As mentioned, you can wait till tomorrow in real life, or you can do the time travel technique, right? So I'm going to do that for the sake of this video. I don't... It's completely up to you if you want to time travel or not. All right, here we are on day two. So we're gonna basically do the same thing, right? We're gonna go back to the kiosk in resident services. We're gonna scan the card again. Invite a camper. Scan it at the touch point again. Invite him over. And repeat the process. He's going to make you uh, craft him another item. Usually it's not too difficult of an item. Sometimes it's like cardboard boxes or something weird. And you can go um, to your Nook services and the Nook shopping area and buy it, buy the boxes or whatever ingredients you need. It's usually pretty simple. So here he is in the tent. And he's giving me the recipe for the next item to make on day two. So go to that recipe and learn it. Sometimes it's like a cardboard box or uh, something weird you gotta find the ingredients for. Wow, this one takes 20 nuggets. Hope I have that. If not, I will steal my wife's. <laughs> Kinda cool. Alright, and then bring him the item yet again. And we're gonna repeat this process for a third day and that should you'll be able to invite him then okay that's it for this day make sure Stick around. Yeah, see, he can't decide yet. So, we're gonna jump ahead our next day.
All right, third day, here we are. So we're gonna rinse and repeat, right? We're gonna go to the kiosk desk, resident services, and we're gonna scan them again. This should be the third time's a charm. Invite a camper, get ready to scan it. Yep, fight him over. I thought he was mad. He was lifting. Thank goodness. This should be it. Probably gonna have to make one more item. Okay, we'll go back to the tent. You have to talk to him a lot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the third item for him. Apparently I know how to make it already. All right, we got the third item crafted. Go back to his tent. All right, and don't freak out yet. You have to talk to him again. Just tell him to move in. All right, and then he calls resident services, and this is where you're gonna see what happens when you have 10 villagers already. Bad news, checked with the resident services. They said it's a no-go. Not enough room on the island for both me and my scary huge arms, Zork. They did say if someone moved down, I can move in. So let's strike a deal. You can say, go for it. All right. And then they, here's the options, right? You can kick someone out from here. So, um, Elmer, you're going, buddy. And then, you can change your mind or click yep. All right, and that's it. So it'll probably take another day uh, for the other villager to move out and for them to move in and then they have to unpack their boxes. So you can continue to time travel forward and the resident will be permanent on your island. So that's it, that's as easy as it is. Um, you can only do one villager card at a time. So um, you can start working on your next card here soon or um, just be done. But again, check out the link in the description where you can buy any villager amiibo card you want. 
to invite them to your island as long as they're not New Horizon exclusive, such as Raymond or Judy, Megan, villagers like that. You just, you, they don't have amiibo cards yet. But that's all there is to it. Any questions, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye.